Okay, so once again, something a little bit different. Is that even focusing on me? Might help if I turn the autofocus on. Um, so I'm doing something much, much smaller than I would normally do. I've been asked for two small panels, five by seven inches, uh, and I've been putting them off and putting them off, but I've got to get them done now because they're for an exhibition which is coming up soon. Um, so I found a scene, I'm going to block it in now. It's going to be a little bit different this one, in style, but also in the way I paint it because of the size. Let's get going. One thirty-nine pm and all is well. Well, we've got to the blocked-in stage here, so now it's just a case of introducing some oil. I think what I'm going to show you in this video is mainly the painting this tree in here. I mean, that's the, that's the feature for this picture. Um, there's a lot going on around it, um, but the contrast between these hills and this tree really, I think, is... Uh, makes it a nice subject to paint. So we'll zip through this bit and then when we get to here, I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. So I'm at the stage now where I've finished or pretty much finished the background area. Um, the foreground I'll do 
after I've done the tree, and I'm gonna do the tree now, and I'm gonna show you how we do that. So the tree is still in its blocked in state. Um, so what we're gonna do is cover it with oil, and I'm gonna show you. And the techniques are actually very similar to how we do a bigger tree on a bigger panel, um, but just in a smaller, smaller form. So let's show you how we're gonna do it. Let's zoom in a bit. Okay, so I would say this tree is probably about two inches tall by two inches wide. So just to give you an idea of the scale of it. So it's quite tricky to get it right. But first of all, I'm gonna work on the trunk and the branches. So I'm mixing in a little bit of burnt umber with that black there. And I'm just, it's not, not jet black, it's uh, it's got a bit of lightness to it, but it is dark, probably the darkest bit in the whole in the whole picture. So I'll put in the trunk here first, and that comes down to around that area there. So it's quite diluted the with white spirit the colour. It's really really quite quite wet there's no thickness to it at all so let's get these branches in now they're not they're not um, I'm not going to do it all the way through some of these canopies here We're just kind of just uh, um, Sort of suggesting the branches really. And I'm just using the very point of this Rosemary Co. rigger brush. For those of you that are interested, it's the one I use for most of the small detailed work. It's a series 771 and it's a size one. I think that'll do for the time being. So now that's in, and although those branches need highlights on, I'm just gonna start working on the foliage now. So it's blocked in, in um, pretty much middle tone, I would say. And I'm just gonna now put in some darker areas. And I'm gonna just, to begin with, I'm just gonna try this brush here, which is, I know I'm going to get people asking what brush it is, but it's just, in fact, it probably at one time looked something like, let's see if I can find, no, I haven't got one like it, but it's, it, was just a, it was just a flat, soft brush. Um, and over the years of using it, it's just, well, I mean, it's almost completely knackered now. It's coming to the end, end of its life, but we'll use that and we'll just dab on the darker areas. So I'm going to mix in some of the sap green that I've got there with a little bit of that ivory black and maybe a bit of burnt umber. Let's just see how that looks. And can you see that that's just giving you a, a slightly um, sort of a spotty, a spotty look. And just just doing that is really bringing the tree to life. So I've mixed in a little bit of liquid with that, and what that does is it 
makes it look a little bit less furry and gives you a sharper edge. So on the right hand side of the tree we can be a little bit darker because that's where the, the shade is. The light's obviously coming in from the left. And then on the left hand side I can probably add a little bit of the yellow, maybe a touch of that cerulean blue. Still quite dark, a bit more of that. Let's try that. That's better. Okay, so that's that stage done. Now I'm going to put in some of the the darker um, canopies that are filling up this gap here, I'll just put those in quickly and then I'll put in the lighter canopies over the top and then that should be pretty much it. So I'm just mixing some, some of that ivory black in with the green that I'd already mixed. And I'm just gonna Put in some of these darker areas. Still adding white spirit just to keep the flow there. Just sort of drawing in the darker areas as we go. Okay, now ready for the highlights, ready for the fun bit. So it needs to be quite bright, so I'm going to use that Windsor lemon, but it's, it's a bit warmer than that, so I'll mix in some of the cadmium yellow and a fair amount of that titanium white just to get that nice and strong. And also, get plenty of the white spirit in with it. Get a nice flow, see how that looks. Yeah, I think we could probably go a bit thicker, get it to stand out more. Let's try that. quite as strong as I would like it. I think one way we can make that a bit stronger, a bit more punchy that is to put it on that little bit thicker again. So what I'm going to do, move over to a different brush, which is a flat fine bristle Win Winton brush, number one, Winter and Newton.
that's not not too bad not too far off it's not a million miles away it's more like half a million miles away thing is just to keep building up on this tree just putting on the canopies here until we are done and then I think we'll be there just a few highlights on the branches Mixing in a slightly darker green just to fill in the shaded area. So it looks balanced, I don't want it all looking like the, all the detail is just on one side. That's pretty good. But this tree, to make it stand out from the background, it's, uh, it's got a lot more saturation and it is a lot warmer than the colours behind. And that really helps it stand forward. So it's also a little bit more contrasty than the trees behind or the, the background in general. And um, that gives you the illusion that it's standing Standing forward, standing in front of what's what's uh, in the background there. It's pretty much there. I'm just going to put in a few, just a few more darker areas on this bit here, just to make it look a little bit less solid. And then I'll put the I'll put some more holes through there. a great deal of extra work on it but So there we have it. That is the tree. The tree demonstration. It's quite a nice little picture this, but it is a very, very small. So obviously I've got the uh, foreground to finish now, which I'm going to do. There we go. Blimey, the fly has been buzzing around all, all bloody afternoon. So there you go. That is how 
I painted that tree. Now I'm gonna get on with the rest of it. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already, or give it a thumbs up, or please comment if there's anything else you want me to um, show you. And I'll see you in the next video.